Dear viewers, welcome back to another episode of GTA Geographic. It's been an adventure so far. On our travels we have seen creatures like the Griefer, the Tryhard, and the Modder. In the food chain of GTA Online, one creature sits and observes, and most of the time acts like a parasite. A parasite sounds like a very nasty creature, but some of these play an important role. The difference between them must be made and made correctly. I'm talking, of course, about the YouTuber. On the one hand, we have the YouTuber who seeks to entertain, enrich, or simply inform their dear viewers. But still, they are leeching. Leeching on the unfortunate implementations like the Orbital Cannon, the Hydra, and other hardships of GTA Online, and in our case, the hatred towards certain other species. This GTA Online creature sits in the food chain amongst the others. He sits, he observes, and makes content. Before us stands Pyre Realm Gaming. The Pyre Realm Gaming is an innocent creature, frolicking around in the meadows of GTA Online like a goat. He only wishes to please his audience with the content he creates, from testing vehicles, to testing guns, to organizing gruesome battles which end in absolute catastrophe for the city of Los Santos. It is said that because of the battles the Pyre Realm Gaming has organized, Prices of DLC vehicles skyrocketed because of the increased demand and decreasing supply. Up ahead we see a foreigner. This strange creature thinks he is multiple people. He named himself GTA Men when he is in fact a team of one. This is a special kind of YouTuber who seeks to enrich and inform his audience by doing extensive testing. On one occasion he made a video testing the Mark II revolver, but in the process he attracted the attention of a bigger species of YouTuber. The bigger GTA YouTubers are a special breed. They tend to get corrupted. Corrupted by the views, the influence, and the power they gain. The bigger GTA YouTuber will often look towards other content creators for a very liberal inspiration. They are frowned upon by the entire community, and this feeling often resonates in the comments section of smaller YouTubers. Yes, the GTA YouTuber is a strange creature. The creature hibernates until Rockstar announces a brand new DLC. Like a moth to a flame, all the YouTubers start racing towards it and try to extract views from this announcement. Some of them do this by testing, others by simply clickbaiting. Then there is the extra special YouTuber. This specimen seems to be missing a chromosome. In the past they have tried to stop the train and they have claimed to have GTA 6 while in fact the only thing they have is brain damage. The Sanando is a fantastic example of this. He looks like some sort of crossbreed between a male Mexican and an aging poodle. One would think this is physically impossible. How can one crossbreed the two? Well, the fact of the matter is simple. You can't. This is the product of many generations of interbreeding. Science has failed us all. Yes, there are many YouTubers out there, from glitches to news reporters to testers to all-round cunts, some fighting the good fight while others are there for their own personal gain. In either case, one thing is certain. The GTA YouTuber is a strange creature. Not quite fitting in the food chain, it doesn't have a natural enemy, since it turns any event, whether it's in-game or against each other, into personal gain for views. Thank you for watching, dear viewer. The last thing for me to do in this video is to wish you a very happy new year. Farewell, dear viewers.